What's up guys, Warlock here. Today we're gonna go over a quick update that happened a little bit ago from the devs for Diablo 4 Season 3. Let's do it. So guys, the devs tweeted out, okay, we're gonna get right into it. And the devs tweeted out, courtesy of Mr. Adam Fletcher, AKA Pez Radar, okay? Adam Fletcher tweeted out, we have an update with the Diablo 4 Season 3 patch notes and a bit more info based off of questions over the weekend. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. This is actually really, really nice. I looked over this earlier and I couldn't wait till I got home from work to bring this to you guys. I know I'm sure other creators have already reported it and you've seen it, but just in case if you guys did miss it, I'm going to go over all of it now. So there's been some questions over the weekend regarding the Nightmare Dungeon rotation where players can obtain new uniques for the seasonal construct or the season of the construct, excuse me, and more clarification on the world boss rate, boss item power drop rate or updates, drop rate, whatever the item power ranges are gonna be for the world bosses. So there's a huge list of dungeon rotations for the season. As you guys know, there is a hundred and some odd dungeons, what, 115, 115 dungeons, but each season they rotate in new nightmare dungeons, okay? so. When you're going through this list for world tier and world three or world tier three and world tier four there is a few that just kind of stick out mercy's reach is huge right serpent's lair is nice older's cave is amazing but more importantly champions demise that's what we have here guys yes champions demise if you guys don't remember back for like season zero season one uh champions demise was the map it's the map that everybody grinded it's the map where i finally found my tempest roar uh after 88 levels of hard grinding on the druid and there's a big reason why this map is so crucial to your leveling experience in diablo 4 particularly with nightmare dungeons this is by far one of the best maps because you have three different lanes here and basically what happens is, is when you get a full party you're going to be able to split these so if you're in a full party of four you basically have one person take each lane and then one person can just go with whoever the weakest member is in the party right so you got two going north one down here one down here everybody clears the map then you come back and fight the boss right here no problem you guys speed clear it super fast this is going to be an insane way to level up especially once you get into world tier three and four and more importantly if you have a group now this strategy doesn't really work if you only have like a duo partner or if it's just solo because it just takes too long to clear all the lanes even if you add two people it's not really that efficient there's definitely other dungeons to do i would definitely suggest like mercy's reach or something like that if you only have a duo but if you're at least in a trio or a full party splitting this is absolutely nuts you're going to be able to just rack up huge amounts of xp so big shout out to the devs it's been out of the rotation for a good while now we didn't get it in season two uh season one i believe we didn't have it or was it season one no it was season zero season zero was the last time that we had champions demise so it's really really awesome that it's actually back so there's a few more in here that are actually kind of good blinds burrows is back in world tier four this is one of my favorites blind burrows is amazing because again you can split it and it's just super efficient uh this is where i got my first level 100 character so that one really sticks out older's cave is good alderwood is good um, I haven't really compiled a, a tier list, if you will, but I'm just kind of pointing out some of the really, really good ones. But the fact that Champions Demise is back is huge again. And for me personally, I really like Blind Burrows. I just think it works really, really well. But again, it's just all about what your team wants to do. Uh, next, Boss Ladder Drop Table Update. All new uniques for Season 3 will be available in the beast in the ice drop table for season three so if you guys are new to diablo 4 or maybe you guys haven't really farmed a beast in the ice because you thought it was just too easy or there wasn't really anything worth you know keeping uh you know or even worth doing because you had all the gear pieces now they're adding all the brand new ones from season three onto the beast of the ice now that does not mean that they won't drop anywhere else 
they will drop any uh, in any other piece of content in the game however beast in the ice is where you're going to be able to farm them more efficiently right now beast in the ice is going to require nine distilled fears we all know that you get these by completing level tier 30 in higher nightmare dungeons where you get you are guaranteed one and then every 10 tiers after that you're going to get an increased chance for these to drop i talked about this in the patch notes but as far as the loot table this is the beast in the ice drop unique loot table okay you're gonna have the barbarian for the ring of ravenous druid for the new aesthetic wraps necromancer for the plate rogue for the boots sorcerer my class for the starfall coronet hail talrasha meteors baby and then all classes can get the the pain gorgers gauntlets now this is um this is just unique this is on top of the other ones from season one and two like the beast in the ice unique item drops from season one so you guys can see here uh i believe that they're just kind of adding these to this current list and it has not changed so you're gonna have all of these items here and then you will also have these drops added on so for me sorcerer i can get the staff of liam neeson the su boots which i'll need for my build oculus which i never even got but i'm glad it's there and then gloves of the illuminator and then of course starfall coronet so i'm going to be farming beast of the ice like crazy so we're going to need to farm some nightmare dungeons really quick uh next is the world boss drop rates or drops updated i think this is really really good they got a developer note here world bosses are intended to, to reward powerful loot to your level with this change of high level players will see a maximum item power gear from world bosses at higher levels yeah i mean in the past you basically it was just worthless the only reason you did it was for the some of the farming items that you need to fight certain uh, bosses on the boss ladder so now the previous is plus 100 to min plus 100 to max but now the new is it's going to be based on your character level which i think is just so much better so players below level 70 can get up to 885 71 to 80 can get up to 905 uh 81 to 90 is 925 and then 91 to 100 is 890 to 925. i think this is absolutely fantastic it, it actually puts more of an incentive back onto the world boss because that way not only you're getting those other drops for you know fighting zur or you know just getting items to go do varshan right as your character is continuing to level right you're going to get item power that is really strong to your level i think this is absolutely fantastic big dub by the devs on this right here now i know we're all still going to smash the world boss guys but this is a really good change this is good as you continue to level it actually makes it oh world boss is up in 20 minutes we're gonna go kill a shava although the boss fights for world for the world bosses aren't like super intense or anything like that after you get your build around but as you're leveling it's actually really nice and rewarding because you're going to get a lot of good um items okay so yeah that is the update guys i know you guys have probably already seen this but i wanted to bring it to you again big dub by the devs i'm really happy to see champions demise back as well as a few of the other favorites in the community for me particularly blind burrows this is going to make leveling they have not changed any experience numbers in season three so leveling is going to be super super efficient now you should definitely be able to get level 100 characters if you haven't before the new boss ladder uh drop table for um beast of the ice is great i almost feel like they did it because beast of the ice just wasn't farmed enough i don't think people really cared to fight beast of the ice but now we definitely have a huge reason to and it just increases that table and then world boss drops dub dub okay love this update guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think about the update don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.